I beg your pardon. I was told I might find Tim Kelly in this neighborhood. What do you want with Tim Kelly? You're an American. Sure. Aren't we all? North or South? Yes, of course. I hope you're an American named Tim Kelly. No. But I know him. Oh, I'm anxious to get in touch with him. I want to employ him on a rather difficult task. Well, when I see him, I'll tell him. I happen to know that he's not available at the moment. Oh, I understood that he was always available, if the price was right. Well, not at the moment. He's been employed by another wealthy Norte Americano to take him deep sea fishing. A fellow named Smith, I think his name is. Yeah, that's his name, Smith. Uh, well, perhaps I could talk to either of them. My mission's very important. I'm sure we can work something out. Oh, uh, look before you sit or leap down here as a rule. You know, that's just fish hooks, but it could have been a scorpion or a rattler. Yes, of course. Now, about Kelly or his employer. I'll give him your message. Oh, thank you. I'm staying at the Hotel Sanchez in town, and my name is Professor Harlan Miner. Glad to know you, Professor. Sir? Professor of what? Oh, uh, archaeology, anthropology, biology. I'll tell him. Thank you very much indeed, sir. Uh, I wonder if, if I might offer you something for your trouble. Oh, that uh, really isn't necessary. Good day. Good day. I suppose. I was thinking of something else. Uh, thank you very much. You know, you shouldn't carry that larger bankroll or flash in the open, sir. There uh, isn't as much law around here as there might be. Yeah, you're quite right. Did you see me flash it? I'm Tim Kelly, Professor. You got my message. Well, I did promise to go fishing with uh, Mr. Smith. Oh, does this Mr. Smith flash his money in the wrong places and sit on fish hooks? You <laughs> know, I need you, Mr. Kelly. You need somebody, all right. <laughs> I want to go south to visit the Lost Indian tribe that isn't lost anymore. And someone told me that you were my man if I could find you and uh, pay your price. Well, from the size of your bankroll, I'd say you could pay it. Will Mr. Smith release you? Mr. Smith will go along. Mr. Smith is my partner, Tubo Smith. And uh, you've already paid him a dollar against his salary. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Keeping you. I expected you two days ago. 
These are the guides. Tim Kelly, Tubo Smith, meet my associate, Dr. Wade. Guides. What'd you find, the parking cars in Tijuana? I should have prepared you for the doctor. He has the manners of a great ape. Great ape could be handy where we're going. You can speak plainer than that, man. Talk up. He said that we were hired as guides, not to criticize the boss's manners. Well, just remember that last remark. And you weren't hired as guides. I know how to get where we're going. Just so we get paid as guides. You were hired as nursemaids to take care of old skin and bones. Try and keep them from falling down a rabbit hole. Nothing's gonna happen to the professor. Well, that's up to you. It's your job. I haven't got time to be bothered with the old fuddy-duddy. What were you, a college football hero? I want to check the livestock. Four horses, one burrow, right? That's right. Good ones, too. Did you bring me that new microscope, the Walter? I couldn't find a Walter, so I bought a standard. Standard will work just as well. What do you mean a standard will work just as well? That was the whole point of you coming down here, was to bring me that microscope. Don't turn away from me when I'm talking to you. Two of you, huh? Two against one. Is that the way you operate? That's the way we operate when we're working. When it's for pleasure, it'll be one against one. But right now, we're working. <laughs> Ain't that just dandy? I can hardly wait for the recreation hour, Mr. Kelly. I might have misjudged you, fella. You got spirit. Now, you might whip me with spirit, see? Muscles here never could. <laughs> Your partner's a bad boy. A bad boy, but a good doctor. All right, children, come and get it. Come and get what? It's springtime, sulfur and molasses. Best be on the safe side. Plenty of fever where we're going. Scared? Now the professor thinks it's a good idea. I'll give the rest of these, including yours, and I'll save the dull needle for you. Mr. Smith? I'll take the next shot. There won't be any ill effects. You got enough medicine to open a drugstore. That's what we're down here for, medicine. I thought we were down here to study the living habits of some Indians. Living habits? Is that what Baldy told you? Yeah, it is. Ouch, I'm a little liar. I should have told you that we were down here to study their dying habits. What do you mean, dying habits? What difference does it make? What difference could it possibly make to you? If we take a job, we expect to know exactly what it is. You do? Your job is to watch after old fuddy-duddy, feed the animals, do the cooking, and wash the dishes. The doctor's misleading you. It's his, uh, sense of humor. These Indians, the Zatters, that were found some years back, have a strange resistance to disease. Yet they're in the center of a fever-infested district where no one else has been able to survive. We want to find out why. We're going to find out. Maybe we already have. I read in the papers a few years back when they found this lost tribe that the explorer that found them thought they might be cannibals. Oh, that's malarkey. I was down there. They had no appetite for me. Oh, you're too tough, Doctor. Who's Ruby Red? Ruby Red's got an appetite for everyone. She'll have a bite of you before you're through with her. It's a wood tick, peculiar to the district. And we're sure that it's the cause of the disease. These injections that I've just given you are complete protection. Dr. Wade has proved that. So you see, I wasn't lying to you. We want to find out how it is that these Zatis have survived, lived all these centuries while everyone, everyone who came into contact with them, enemy tribes who tried to destroy them, died. Rubbish. It's because they tamed old Ruby Red. Built up an immunity, I'm sure of it. And now, I got their secret. And so have you, right in your arm. We'd better have.
like a good place to camp. Well, we can get in a couple of hours yet. We'll have several days of this. Yeah, you might not find as good a spot. You can feel the edges on that saddle, huh? <laughs> That's about it. Well, how goes it, Professor? I wouldn't like to go for another two hours just now. You're supposed to be protecting the professor, huh? Against boa constrictors, jaguars, and me. Well, look in the back of his neck. There's the most dangerous monster in the jungle, a ruby red, just getting ready to drill. Yeah, well, don't brush it off, save it. I'll examine my microscope. Look. Looks just like the ones back home. Doesn't look very dangerous. Well, it is. And it's got plenty of relatives, too. I'll uh, go get the packs off. Another ten hours of this will put us in the village. You think you can stand another ten hours? You know how I'll let you do it? You ought to let me do what? Put that boot on. You know it's against the camp rules not to check them out first. Well, this morning I feel like gambling. I feel like breaking your rules. Look. If I want to get bit by a scorpion, all right. But don't you ever kick anything out of my hands again. Don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. Rabbit punch when his back was turned. You yellow bellied. Quiet, Tubo. Face to face, you couldn't have knocked him off his feet, let alone out. No, I'm sure I couldn't. There's something wrong, Miner. All the symptoms. It just doesn't seem possible. Can we get him to the village, Wade? Is it too far? We've got to. If anything happens to him, it won't be a wood tick that'll bite you this time. I ought to make you two quacks carry him the rest of the way. If it's necessary, we will, Tubal. Thanks, cutie. What is it, boiled rattlesnake? I bet you can't answer that. You think he's any better this morning, Doc? None. He's worse. I don't know. I can't make myself admit the serum's a failure. Well, look at him. What more proof do you want? What about the rest of us? Maybe we haven't been bitten. I've been bitten. Look, so have you. 
I'm going to get through to the head man. Tease his father. I have to use mental telepathy. They've got to have a cure to it. It's just immunity. Built up through the centuries, I'm sure of it. Look, I've made myself understood to them. They gave me their blood for the serum. Professor, I'm going to give them another shot of that serum. It can't hurt anything. Oh, I'll prepare it. I'm still going to go through to the old man. All right. If you need any help, send for me. You like this? If he gets well, I'll give it to you, yours. going to die. It would have been the other, Smith. Wonder if Kelly suspected me. If that's why he stepped ahead of Smith and took his injection. And there's nothing wrong with my serum. It's just that Kelly hasn't had any. How else can I study the progress of the disease, evaluate your serum? Unless I use it on one and not on the other. And on white men. Yes, men, not guinea pigs. That's why you brought them down here. Of course. I'll have him on his feet in a couple of days. I can't let you do that. Why, you'll be lucky he doesn't kill you. Or I don't. Dr. Wade. The doctor? Was he lost? He's dead. What's the matter with you? You're not feeling well? I heard a couple of shots and I found him along the trail. Dr. Wade? He's dead. Two slugs in him. What's the matter with you? Don't you understand English? Somebody shot him. I understand you, but are you sure he's dead? Take me to him. He's dead, all right. Smith, I, I can't act surprised anymore. I was afraid of this. My pistol's gone. I missed it this morning. I begged Wade to quit bullying the natives. He never bullied the natives. He liked them. Professor, I want him to have another shot of serum. I want another shot myself. There isn't any more. And if Wade is dead, there may not be any more. Doc said there was plenty. Said Tim should have another hypo. He wasn't quite dead when I found him. Then he told you who killed him? He seemed more concerned about his serum than who shot him. We all gotta get out of here while we're still alive, Professor. I... I don't feel so good. No, we can't move Kelly. I'll go see about Doc Wade. Make yourself some broth. It'll help. Well, Professor... Doctor told me I had a little secret. May kill us all if there's no more serum. What are you talking about? 
There's a hole in it. And this cure. The effects wear off in two or three days. You, you got to keep taking it. That is bad news. Make yourself some broth. You'll feel better. you, Professor. You don't look so good. Your eyes look like Tim's dead. Your skin, it's... It's got a funny color. Nonsense, I feel. Smith, are you sure you understood what Wade said? About the serum? What does it matter? There isn't any more. Help me. You gotta help me. Can you give a high pump? Oh, I've given a few. Horses and cows. Even once to a Bengal tiger. You're in bad shape, Professor. I do. So, and cabinet. to you too, Professor. Doc lived nearly ten minutes after I found him. He even suggested a little powder for your broth before I asked for the serum. He told me how you shot him. About Tim. There's nothing wrong with Wade's serum. Too bad it protected you. Ruby Red would have saved the courts a lot of money. Come on, let's get out of here. Where are you going? Isn't that your shirt? Sure. I gave it to her. Well, and she's with you. What? Don't you know the customs of these times? You give an Indian girl a shirt or a coat and you're married to her. Holy mackerel. You better go keep an eye on the professor. I'll see about getting you a quick divorce. Seem more concerned about his serum than who shot him. We all gotta get out of here while we're still alive, Professor. I... I don't feel so good. No, we can't move Kelly. I'll go see about Doc Wade. Make yourself some broth. It'll help. Well, Professor... Doc, uh, Told me I had a little secret. May kill us all if there's no more serum. What are you talking about? There's a hole in it. And this cure. The effects wear off in two or three days. You, you got to keep taking it. That is bad news. Make yourself some broth. You'll feel better.
are you feeling now? Fine now. How about you, Professor? You don't look so good. Your eyes look like Tim's dead. Your skin, it's... It's got a funny color. Nonsense, I feel... Are you sure you understood what Wade said about the serum? What does it matter? There isn't any more. Oh. Smith. Feels tight. Help me. You gotta help me. Can you give a high pump? Oh, I've given a few. Horses and cows. Even once to a Bengal tiger. You're in bad shape, Professor. I do. So, and cabinet. to die. It would have been the other, Smith. Wonder if Kelly suspected me. If that's why he stepped ahead of Smith and took his injection. And there's nothing wrong with my serum. It's just that Kelly hasn't had any. How else can I study the progress of the disease, evaluate your serum? Unless I use it on one and not on the other. And on white men. Yes, men, not guinea pigs. That's why you brought them down here. Of course. I'll have him on his feet in a couple of days. I can't let you do that. Why, you'll be lucky he doesn't kill you. Or I don't. Dr. Wade. The doctor? Was he lost? He's dead. What's the matter with you? You're not feeling well? I heard a couple of shots and I found him along the trail. Dr. Wade? He's dead. Two slugs in him. What's the matter with you? Don't you understand English? Somebody shot him. I understand you, but are you sure he's dead? Take me to him. He's dead, all right. Smith, I, I can't act surprised anymore. I was afraid of this. My pistol's gone. I missed it this morning. I begged Wade to quit bullying the natives. He never bullied the natives. He liked them. Professor, I want Tim to have another shot of serum. I want another shot myself. There isn't any more. And if Wade is dead, there may not be any more. Doc said there was plenty. Said Tim should have another hypo. He wasn't quite dead when I found him. Then he told you who killed him? He seemed more concerned about his serum than who shot him. We all gotta get out of here while we're still alive, Professor. I... I don't feel so good. No, we can't move Kelly. I'm still gonna go through to the old man. All right. If you need any help, send for me. Like this? If 
he gets well, I'll give it to you. Yours. That's right. It's water. You little murderer. That man is going to die. It would have been the other, Smith. Wonder if Kelly suspected me. If that's why he stepped ahead of Smith and took his injection. And there's nothing wrong with my serum. It's just that Kelly hasn't had any. How else can I study the progress of the disease, evaluate your serum? Unless I use it on one, and not on the other. And on white men. Yes, men, not guinea pigs. That's why you brought them down here. Of course. I'll have him on his feet in a couple of days. I can't let you do that. Why, you'll be lucky he doesn't kill you. Or I don't. Dr. Wade. The doctor? Was he lost? He's dead. What's the matter with you? You're not his father. Perhaps he used mental telepathy. They've got to have a cure to it. It's just immunity. Built up through the centuries, I'm sure of it. Look, I've made myself understood to them. They gave me their blood for the serum. Professor, I'm going to give him another shot of that serum. It can't hurt anything. Oh, I'll prepare it. I'm still going to go through to the old man. All right. If you need any help, send for me. You like this? If he gets well, I'll give it to you. Yours. That's right. It's water. You little murderer. That man is going to die. It would have been the other, Smith. Wonder if Kelly suspected me. If that's why he stepped ahead of Smith and took his injection. And there's nothing wrong with my serum. 
It's just that Kelly hasn't had any. How else can I study the progress of the disease, evaluate your serum? Unless I use it on one and not on the other. And on white men. Yes, men, not guinea pigs. That's why you brought them down here. Of course. I'll have him on his feet in a couple of days. I can't let you do that. Why, you'll be lucky he doesn't kill you. Or I don't. thinking of something else. Uh, thank you very much. You know, you shouldn't carry that larger bankroll or flash it in the open, sir. There uh, isn't as much law around here as there might be. Yeah, you're quite right. Did you see me flash it? I'm Tim Kelly, Professor. You got my message. Well, I did promise to go fishing with uh, Mr. Smith. Oh, does this Mr. Smith flash his money in the wrong places and sit on fish hooks? <laughs> no, I need you, Mr. Kelly. You need somebody, all right. <laughs> I want to go south to visit the Lost Indian tribe that isn't lost anymore. And someone told me that you were my man if I could find you and uh, pay your price. Well, from the size of your bankroll, I'd say you could pay it. Will Mr. Smith release you? Mr. Smith will go along. Mr. Smith is my partner, Tubo Smith. And uh, you've already paid him a dollar against his salary. Oh. Huh. <laughs> been keeping you. I expected you two days ago. Are these the guides? Tim Kelly, Tubo Smith, meet my associate, Dr. Wade. Guides. What'd you find, the parking cars in Tijuana? I should have prepared you for the doctor. He has the manners of a great ape. Great ape could be handy where we're going. You can speak plainer than that, man. Talk up. He said that we were hired as guides, not to criticize the boss's manners. Well, just remember that last remark. And you weren't hired as guides. I know how to get where we're going. Just so we get paid as guides. Come off his feet, let alone out. No, I'm sure I couldn't. There's something wrong, Miner. All the symptoms. It just doesn't seem possible. Can we get him to the village, Wade? Is it too far? We've got to. If anything happens to him, it won't be a wood tick that'll bite you this time. I ought to make you two quacks carry him the rest of the way. If it's necessary, we will, Tubal. Thanks, cutie. What is it, boiled rattlesnake? I'm glad she can't answer that. You think he's any better this morning, Doc? None. He's worse. I don't know. I can't make myself admit the serum's a failure. Well, look at him. What more proof do you want? What about the rest of us? 
Maybe we haven't been bitten. I've been bitten. Look, so have you. I'm going to get through to the head man. Tease his father. If I have to use mental telepathy, they've got to have a cure to it. It's just immunity. Built up through the centuries, I'm sure of it. Look, I've made myself understood to them. They gave me their blood for the serum. Professor, I'm going to give him another shot of that serum. It can't hurt anything. Oh, I'll prepare it. I'm still going to go through to the old man. All right. If you need any help, send for me. You like this? If he gets well, I'll give it to you. Yours. Thank <laughs> you. 